hi guys welcome back thank you so much for joining for today's video we are going to jump right into this slay honey look at this hair it is absolutely gorgeous perfect for summer and i'm going to show you all the details and how i make it look so good so if you want to see that make sure you keep on watching All right, so I'm finally back with a new video. I took a little break, but we're going to jump right in with this beautiful wavy style. I have already washed this wig and cut off the extra lace. Um, today, I want to focus on tweezing the hairline and give you all some tips on how to do it if your lace has already been cut. Now, this is what the hairline of this wig looks like um, when I have not done anything to it. So the first thing you would want to do is get you a canvas head and you will want to pin your wig onto that canvas head. That way it can stay on there without sliding around. Then you need to take your hot comb and push that hairline back so that you can see it. Now, if you don't wanna use a hot comb, you can always wet the hairline and brush it back. Now, the key to tweezing the hairline when the lace is already cut is focusing an inch or a half an inch behind the hairline. A lot of times if you are tweezing your wig and the lace has already been cut, most likely you have already worn the wig. So therefore you may have already a little bit of thinning of your hairline already. So I like to focus behind that hairline and I will um, make sure not to tweeze too much at the front. Now with this wig, while it's not heavy, densely packed around that hairline it is a bit thicker than a normal pre-plucked hairline so even taking out a little bit of hair you will see just a small change um, so you will need to tweeze this a bit to actually get it to that thinner pre-plucked look Make sure you are using some really good tweezers. I will put some below in the description box. I will link everything that I'm using down there so be sure to check below the video. Okay, so this is all the hair I'm going to pull out. It did a small difference, not too, something that was too dramatic, but I think it looks good enough to apply. Oh yeah, I really like this wig. It's from AF Sister Wig. I will be sure to put it below with a discount code for you guys. Um, this is what the hairline is looking like. I'm just going to go ahead and set that middle parting. And I may tweeze the hairline at the parting just a tad bit because it is a bit tight in there. I'm super excited because I got some goodies from Even New York. They sent me over their lace tint spray and another product that you guys are gonna have to wait to see in the next video. But I'm really excited because I've never tried their lace tint spray and a lot of you was asking me, have I ever used it? So today I'm going to use it, girl, and we're gonna see how it works. The color they sent is the natural beige. Now this spray is an aerosol spray. So unlike the previous lace tints you see me use, it does not have that water type of consistency. This color is a natural beige so basically you would use this if you do not want to bleach the knots on your wig which I don't like doing anymore because it just I mean I do it if I have to but if I can find something that's faster then I will use that instead so what I'm going to do is take this spray and spray it all over the cap now the first thing I did notice is this color is a bit whitish it does come in several different colors this is the natural beige so if you do have a problem with your knots being too brown because you are of a lighter skin, this color is for you. It's going to definitely knock out that brownness and make your scalp look like a scalp color. Now, before I get any questions about do it work for darker skin, absolutely, they have several different shades of this spray. It goes from the really light scalp to the darkest scalp. Um, but this is what I got from it so far. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I guess you guys are gonna have to see if it works with my complexion, but this is what it looks like. I only sprayed it in the Parting. So you want to let it dry air dry until it's completely dry do not use a blow dryer but as you can see once it dries it looks less whitish color kind of absorbs a little bit um, and this is what it looks like when you flip it over like I said I only applied it in that parting I did notice that it did seep into the hair a little bit so you may can take like a wet rag and kind of wipe it off the hair but before I get into applying let's talk about the waves on this wig 
I'm going to take a little bit of leave-in conditioner and water and just spray it around the hair just to get the waves to define. I am not curling this hair. This hair is the perfect vacation hair. All right, so this is what the hairline looks like before I glue it down. This is what the parting looks like since I used the even um, lace tint. So I'm going to take the Even Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray and go ahead and glue down this wig. Now I do have a full video talking about this spray and how I use it. You can check that video out. If Looking at this hairline, it looks so good. I did not want to tweeze too much out. Now, if you notice that the parting is different from the hairline, a lot of times I like my hairline to match my forehead. If I was to put that even lace tint in the natural beige at the hairline, then it most likely would look too whitish. Um, and I don't want that. I, you always want your hairline to match your forehead and then your scalp is naturally lighter than your forehead color anyways, because it don't get <laughs> sun. Um, so yeah, just remember that when choosing your colors, you can also choose more than one color. So now we'll go ahead and tie down that hairline with a sleigh band and this is going to push that lace and melt it. And it's also going to just make sure my wig application lays flat around that hairline. The hair is absolutely gorgeous on this, you guys. The waves are so pretty. And I believe this is about a 24 inch, if I'm not mistaken. I will put it down below in a description box. But just parting the hair, I see absolutely no knots on this wig. That spray definitely gives great coverage when it comes to um, the scalp area of the wig and covering those knots. The one thing I would change is probably the color. Like I said, I'm gonna go back and try a different color and mix and match and see what I can get. Um, but you guys can drop me some comments and let me know what colors you have tried if you are my complexion and what has worked for you if you've tried this. So to make sure that scalp area don't look too whitish, I'm going to go back in with the, some foundation powder that's in a tannish color and just kind of go over it a little bit. Um, that way I won't look like I just have like this white residue there. Um, but like I said, if you guys know a color that may work perfectly for my complexion, you can drop it below in the comment section um, so that the next video I can show you guys, you know, how it works out. Okay, so that is all I'm gonna do with the scalp area. Everything tends to look good so far. We're going to go ahead and remove that sleigh band. It's been about 20 minutes or so. Um, you don't have to leave it tied down with the sleigh band for too long because it's instantly going to melt that hairline. And look at that, it looks so good. Now you can use baby hairs, but you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, bring out the edges a little bit. So yeah, I will be sure to put this wig below in the description box with a discount code. And I will also link every product that I use down there. Also, so you guys can let me know what you think about this hair. And I will see you all back in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Mwah.